And hundreds came out in Providence tonight to show solidarity for the victims and their families. They marched from a downtown club all the way to the State House calling for peace. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan was at tonight's event. She joins us now live with the latest from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Landmarks around the world and here in Providence are lit up in rainbow colors in support of the LGBT community. And tonight's vigil showed that people here in Providence are standing together following the tragedy in Orlando. It didn't matter if they knew the victims. I feel like my family was attacked. Members from the LGBT community in Providence gathered at the Dark Lady and the Alley Cat. It could have been any of us, it could have been anybody in Rhode Island, Massachusetts. But some are familiar with Pulse nightclub in Orlando, where a gunman killed 49 and injured 53 others. In knowing and remembering what that layout of that bar was, where that patio is, the different rooms, where the bathrooms are, and now listening to the stories of people trapped and being held hostage, it, it just, it's sobering. Especially at a place where many in the LGBT community say they feel so comfortable. It's where we come to be ourselves and not fear anything, and now they've taken that away. Quickly, the community organized a vigil, passed out candles, and showed support by marching for the victims. This is the night where we hold our ground, where we take back our home, our clubs, our community, and know that we're not going to let hate or fear take that ever away from us. The march taking them to the State House for a moment of silence and remembrance. Even though we have tears in our eyes, we have a little bit of pain in our heart that's going to um, be temporary for now. But that pain is going to turn into strength, and that strength is going to pass on to the whole community to keep us moving forward. And looking ahead to this weekend here in Providence, it is Pride Fest and also the Pride Parade. So police are going over safety measures, and there will be increased security for this weekend. And people I spoke with this evening tell me they still plan on going. They're just going to be a little bit more vigilant. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.